Hey guys, welcome to Keeping with Jagger. Today I'm going to be solving this 3x3 one-handed on a scooter. So I kind of just thought of this idea because it's finally scooterable weather in Minnesota right now and I decided to mix that with my keeping channel and yeah so I think we can just get right into the challenge but first let me show you some tricks I can do. Alright here we go 360. Oh that's sad. Let me try a 90. Yeah, I'm a professional. Anyway, I think we can just mix up the cube and get right into it. Alright, uh, I think we can just start, so I will just see if I can do it, I guess. Alright, I think I'm out of frame, but I'm going to be coming in, so 3, 2, 1, go! So, I'm going to try to make the cross here. Sorry if I go out of frame a lot, it's going to be hard to not do that while I'm doing this. Alright, we got the cross done. And, gosh, I can't find any pairs. Oh my gosh, it's going horribly. Okay, we got a pair in, and there's the second one. Okay, oh geez. There's our third pair, probably a horrible viewing experience, and there was our uh, fourth pair, ooh, and this is actually not a horrible, oh well, come on, peel a skib, ah, uh, Y perm, it's not hard to remember, but it's hard to do when doing one handed because it takes so many moves. Ah, uh, and the last few moves here. Oh my gosh! Oh no! Bro, really? Really? Okay, we're gonna try this one more time, but we're gonna do a two-handed solve and just stand on the scooter like this. I don't know if it's gonna be any easier because I'm gonna have to solve it in one go. And by the way, this is the Dian Chang 3x3M. And I didn't want to bring my main out here in case I dropped it and it just like scraped it up really bad. So let's give it a try. It's all scrambled up, as you can see, and let's go. All right, three, two, one. Barely we're away from this pair. So pretty easy OLL and G perm. So not great. But let's see if I can do a POV shot of this. Okay, so I think uh since that failed and I'm really bad at scootering as it turns out, I think we're just gonna try to solve the hardest scramble in the world in the middle of a scooter jump. So let's get right into it. We're gonna go slow-mo. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of a change of plans here. I'm gonna be trying to solve this anti soon while jumping off that block of wood. Do you think you can do it? I do, because I already tested this. Let's do it. Three, two, one, and go. Oh, you didn't see that. Three, two, one, go. There we go. That is absolute professional. Um, Cubing. All right, I think for the last challenge of the day, it's gonna be trying to solve this cube using only wide, no, we're not gonna do that again. That video is not good. But what we will do is 
solve this Rubik's Cube only in the air. So I'm gonna mess it up. And I'm only allowed to do moves while I'm jumping off of that stump right there. So let's get right into the challenge. All right, so I think the first moves I'm gonna do is the first few edges of the cross. So we'll do that now. And of course I messed it up. So we're gonna have to kind of modify that again. All right, we'll do, I think the, probably about the third, fourth of the cross. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, and with some X cross potential. I didn't fail that jump. You did. I think we can finish up the cross in this jump, hopefully. Three, two, one, go. Dang, we need one more piece, so we'll just do that now. Canceling right into the next pair. All right, we got the pair done. And we're gonna insert this piece and insert the pair. And we have one more move for the pair. And with that, I think we will finish the first two pairs. And now we have the red-blue pair. Three, two, one, go. Also, if I'm doing like one move on the ground, I don't care, that's your problem. Three, two, one for the orange pair. And final moves. And anti-soon. This one I actually can do in the air all at once. But I messed it up. There we go. And we've got an AA perm. I'm getting tired. And with the final jump, let's do this. And we are done. And I'm out of breath. Okay, well hopefully that didn't suck. We got a solved cube. And also, fun fact, look at this tree. It's kind of cool. So I hope you enjoyed this little outdoor cubing video. It was a lot of fun to make. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Don't twist too many corners while I'm away. Bye!